Using dynamic arrays is basically using a bunch of pointers, which again, this actually shouldn't be a surprise. But what I wanted to show you is it is different when it comes to creating a matrix. Because now you have, think of this as basically individual arrays that you are now putting together to make the matrix. That's why we have the double loop when it comes to creation and then a single loop to delete it because all we got to go through is each an individual array and say, okay, I'm going to set you to null, get rid of you, delete it, null, each one of those times. That's why we have the nested loops in order to take care of everything because it is a heck of a lot more pointers when it comes to using dynamic arrays. Now, accessing an array is still using a single, single index number or element index number with square braces. Accessing a matrix is still, so accessing everything else like that is still done. But behind the scenes, again, I can use a single, <laughs> remember the pointers? I can use single star to access a value, or for a matrix, I can use a double one. Yeah, probably you wouldn't like it. I don't blame you. So this is the syntactic sugar for basically that. But notice the overall setup. There's my definition of two pointers using a matrix and a single pointer for a regular array. Yeah, that's what's happening behind the scenes when it comes to a dynamic array using a lot of pointers.